If you're using the UNAS Pro Ubiquiti's new network attached storage, you probably know how to access your files on desktop, on your Mac or PC, right? You can go to the IP address of the UNAS Pro forward slash drive. That's where you access Unified Drive, or you can mount the drive using SMB, or even better, you can use Unify Identity to auto mount the drive. But how do you access your files on your iPhone or iPad? There isn't a unified drive app as you might expect, although you can access your files using unified identity. It's just that as of now, the app experience itself is not that great. So in this video, I'll show you a much better option. If you want to see that, please go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and if you need to reach out and you need support, use the links in the video description. First, let's start with how this looks like if you want to use the Unify Identity app. We do have to go into the dashboard here and enable it. So I'm in the drive app. I'm at unified.ui.com, but you can also use the IP address of your UNAS Pro. So here in the dashboard, first let's go to settings, go to admins and users. So you want to skip over admins and go straight to users. And we'll set this up here for Diana Prince, right? Wonder Woman. So first of all, if you had it automatically set up and you didn't change any settings and you create a new user with an email address, they'll already get the email. But if you didn't, just be sure to go to settings, add a email address here, and you want to enable which drives they can use, right? So for here, I just enabled marketing and shared, and they also have their personal one, of course. You can click the plus sign here to enable other ones and choose, you know, which permission level you want there. Go back here to overview and just send the identity invitation link. So it's going to repeat that email address here for them. And it should say send right there. It sent her that email. So let's open up on the iPhone. We'll see what that looks like. And what your end user will see is an email like this that just prompts them to install identity. First of all, that big blue button, but it's already installed. So you can actually click down there where it says load your credential. So tap on that. And that brings up the identity app right away. We'll click allow, that's fine. So it's loading that credential, notifications, sure. And see, that's the name of our console, our UNAS Pro here. And if you had, I should just point out, if you had Identity Enterprise set up, this would be a little different because it combines your Unified Gateway, for example, but this is just kind of standalone. So there, there it is, file access, that's where we want to go. And we can, of course, view all the drives that we have permissions to, including the, the kind of home user that I called here after the first name, so Diana's drive. You can tap into that, there's, there's nothing there. So you go back like that. So one thing, it's kind of weird here, is if you go back, you actually kind of swipe back, it goes back to the home screen of identity, which I don't like. Hopefully they'll fix that. And if she was an admin, she can also go ahead and create new shared drives here as well. Like the marketing and the shared drive. As an admin, you can also create drives straight in the mobile app here. But she's not an admin, just a user, so she can create a shared drive, which is different from shared folders, okay? so. If I go into marketing, for example, you see this plus sign here. You can still create a new folder here. That's all fine. But uh, there's our DS store. Okay, that's just a Mac thing. Now, so for example, you know, she can view images here. No problem. You can zoom in. It's, it's not the best interface here, I would say. If you tap on the three dot menu here or even at the file right there, rename, details, download. And most importantly here, what's the benefit of having the identity app is that you can do share link. Right, so you can create a link, expiration, access limits, and passwords. So create and copy link, and then you can share that with anyone, right? Which is awesome because it's your own, it's your own data on premises. But some other things that are just not as great. I mean, you can view videos. So I have a couple of videos in here. It probably different kind of ways that the video is made. Maybe you can't open all the videos. So you literally have, would have to download that one. Let's see if this one, same thing with that one. So it gives you a little thumbnail preview, but I can't actually view it and I'll cancel that download. And to go back again, not, don't swipe back like this. Oops, there, I just did that. So marketing, let's go to forms. So let me just show you a PDF, for example. So the PDFs also, as you see, kind of opens this really weird. This is just a normal page kind of document. It actually has multiple pages and I can't see that. This to the right is just another PDF in that same folder. Same thing, can't view it. The only way is you actually click here to download. And now here I can actually view the PDF, which is cool. But I'll show you here in a second how you can do even more with the iOS Files app. And then even if I want to go back, this is kind of weird too. I don't know if there's a better way, but if I click the back button, 
it gets me all the way back to the main home screen. So again, there's there's definitely a polishing up here to do on the Identity app in terms of unified drive. So that's what it looks like here in the Identity app. Now, let me show you what you can do and I'll maybe bring up the iPad for this one just to show you a little bit different. Same kind of thing, right? iOS and iPadOS. But now we're going to mount the drives to the Files app in the iPad. First, in your web browser, you actually want to just double check that SMB is enabled. So again, either at your IP address for the UNAS Pro or at unified.ui.com. Go to Settings, Services, and here, make sure this is checkmarked, right? And the, this actually gives you, so not these addresses here, but all you'll need is these right here. You'll, you just need that IP address that we're going to use. So in fact, if you have two connected, by the way, right, this is our faster one here, SFP+. Plus. We'll copy this address. We can paste it later into our phone or iPad. Then go to admins and users. Go to users. And for whichever user you're going to enable this for, um, probably all of them. So for example, let's say, say we're doing Bruce Wayne here. Bruce Wayne wants access on his mobile device. So let's go to settings. And okay, so it's, it's already enabled because I've enabled that for him. Let's check the end of prints. And so you'll do here, right? See file services credentials. That is that right there. And you'll just enable that. And you need to give it her or the user a username and a password to log into. So I'll go ahead and set that here. Password will do uh, Wonder Woman capitals in there. And let's click apply changes. That's fine. Great. And that is set. Then on your iPad or iPhone, just open the Files app. And this is on the iPad, obviously. And on, on the iPhone, it might be a little different. You might have a plus sign up top right there. But here, you click that three-dot menu, and you want to connect to server. So on the iPhone, be plus, and you'll see connect to server. This is where we want to paste that IP address. So I should have it. Okay, and after you enter that, just click Connect. Here, it's now asking for credentials. So this is those credentials we just made for Diana Prince. So we'll just enter that in and then click next. And there it is. So it populates every single shared drive here. Although as you might have saw, Diana Prince only has access to the shared drive and the marketing drive. So for example, she won't be able to access, you see IT admin, finance executive, she can't, she can't go in there. Now, if we go into one of the drives she has access to, which is like the shared drive, we just have a couple pictures here and it works just like you would expect on your Mac. So you have a preview here. You can do a lot of things. So from the start here, I just want to tell you that obviously you don't have abilities that you have in Unified Identity, which is create links and create shared drives, for example, if you're an admin. But you have all the benefit of basically finder, like columns, right? You can view that in a list, icons. So any file, right, you can swipe through them. There's our poor Batman. No problem, right? You can do markup, uh, not as useful maybe here on the photo, but that's all available. And some of the other kind of better features here, if we go, we have some examples here in marketing, for example, if you go to forms. So in forms, we opened this up in the Unified Identity app and it was quite difficult to use, <laughs> I would say. But again, here we have the benefits of Finder or Preview that's kind of built in here like the Mac app. So we can click autofill the form, and that's you know all easily done here, ready for us. We can scroll this PDF as we would expect. And even if you sign things and you use preview on your Mac, this is all built, built in here too. So for example, you see it knows that this is a signature and now my signature that I saved in the preview app on the Mac is available here on the app as well. Same thing with the iOS. And I can even add signatures here too, which is convenient right on the iPad versus a computer. And it understands that this is even you know, a text form and that that's a signature. So let's click done, right? I can open the other PDF the same way. If I go back to this, you now we have markup available here. So same thing, all, all those things you are familiar with, they're all here, right? I can circle things, whatever, and it saves that. I can share from here, all those options as well. Automatically it saves it, let's cancel. And if we want to watch a video, for example, it doesn't have to download the whole file. I mean, you could, you could do that if you wanted to, but let's say, here's a draft I was working on. So you see it plays the video right away and it's, it's going straight off of the NAS actually, believe it or not. It's just be better things that you can do here. I can't even crop this video. 
look at that, <laughs> right, straight in here. So let's cancel. So as you can see, this is just, I would say, a bit more useful. This is obviously about if you're in the Apple ecosystem. So I have all the info here. And again, you can access files on your computer and stuff. This is only pertains to you if you actually need to access things from your NAS on your smartphone, your iPhone in particular, and your iPad. So I think that's pretty useful and hopefully they keep developing. I'm sure they will, right? They just released it. They're going to further develop the app and even kind of the glitches I told you about in the unified identity to make it more useful for someone who wants to use it on you know, their iPhone or smartphone. But I also don't have any inside knowledge whether or not they're working on a separate unified drive. Maybe that would be cool. But for me, this works. If I actually want to access it, I will probably integrate it with here. Now, you should know that this is obviously running. I'm on the same local area network. So that's why this IP address works. And if you're outside, you can still make this work. You would just need a VPN. There's multiple ways to have a VPN with Unify. You can use even something simple like Teleport, which just works, right? If you're outside the network, just use that VPN and you can still connect to your files the same way. So if this method of accessing files was useful to you and you like Bruce Wayne, please like this video, share it, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, leave that down below. Thanks for watching. Take care.